All right, guys, we're finally here. Get to looking for your pumpkins. I think Joe already ran off somewhere. I mean, he's like a little kid. He heard the words pumpkin patch and begged us to come immediately. Oh, this is a pumpkin patch? I thought we were at the Trump family reunion. Ah, screw you, George. Anyways, Barack, why aren't you out looking for a pumpkin? Well, actually, Michelle and I stopped by last week and got some for us and the girls to carve. I just figured it'd be fun to hang out with the guys. I know Joe has been looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm not much of a pumpkin carver. I just wanted to get some references for a painting I'm working on. And of course, hang out with the boys. Well, I am the best pumpkin carver of all time. Believe me, many people are saying it. Before I left office, the White House had a true patriotic pumpkin carver. Perhaps the best since Lincoln. Donald, just get your pumpkin looking ass out there and grab one, or else Joe will be leaving here with the biggest one. Not if I have anything to say about it. Look out, boys, when I return, you'll all tell stories of Donald Trump and the Great Pumpkin. You are the Great Pumpkin. Now go do your thing, Don. Finally, a break from those two goofballs. For real. Love them both to death, but I swear it feels like we're babysitters. I mean, as long as Michael Myers doesn't come after us while we're watching them, I don't mind. Speaking of, dude, that Halloween movie that came out last year sucked. Don't even get me started. Michael Myers was barely in that shit, and the one before that, Halloween Kills, was just as bad. The entire theater laughed when the mob started chanting, evil dies tonight, over and over. <sighs> they just don't make horror movies like they used to. Or maybe we're just getting too old to enjoy them like we could when we were dumb teenagers, just enjoying the mindless violence. Well, damn. Don't go getting existential on me in a fucking pumpkin patch, George. My bad. You hear that? Sounds like Trump and Joe are headed back. Guys, look, I hauled in the holy grail of pumpkins. I'm gonna make a wicked jack-o'-lantern with this. Oh shit, nice Donald, that thing is huge. That's what your mom said to me last night. Anyways, let's see what Santa Claus over here hauled back. Oh, you guys ain't ready for this. Joe, that is not a pumpkin. <laughs> this geriatric fuck really picked an old wrinkly gourd. I guess it does kind of resemble you, Sleepy Joe. Donald, that is no way to speak about my new friend, Jeff Gordon. He may not be the biggest pumpkin in the patch, but he has a whole lot of heart. He, I mean, it isn't a pumpkin at all. Joe, put that nasty thing back where you got it. No, Donald, please don't make me. E Joe, stop making that disgusting noise. You can take uh, Jeff Gordon home with you. Yippee. Okay. Anyways, you all got your Halloween costumes ready for Tuesday? I sure do. I can't wait for you all to see it. Joe, remember, it's Halloween. I better not see you dressed as the Easter Bunny or some shit on Tuesday. Oh, I think you'll love my costume more than anyone, Donald. I'm going all out this year for mine. Let me guess, you're gonna be a vampire again, George? Count W will be making his grand return to suck your dick. I mean, blood. Jeez, I better bring some holy water and a wooden stake then. All right, you weirdos. Donald and Joe got their pumpkins, so let's go home. Yeah, me and Jill got a give out candy to the kids at the White House before we can go trick-or-treating. So I need to stop at Walmart and get a few bags. Okay, let's go. Hey, Barry, happy Halloween. That's an awesome costume. I almost didn't recognize you. Um, what are you supposed to be? Really, George? I'm Walter White. Well, you look more like Walter Black, just saying. Very funny and so original. Haven't heard that one a million times tonight. Maybe we won't get recognized tonight when we're out trick-or-treating. Would be nice to get the press off our backs for a change. Yeah, as long as Donald doesn't blow our cover. Remember last year? He just had to egg that house for giving out candy he didn't like, and the damn cops caught us. Of course, he claimed on Truth Social that it was a witch hunt. Speaking of, where is the wicked wiener of the West right now anyways? We were supposed to all be here a few minutes ago. I don't know. Oh wait, maybe that's him texting me now. Look at this, Trump carved his pumpkin. Kinda looks like a child did it, though. You should roast him. Well, it wouldn't be his first time. I remember the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump. All right, he's on his way. I don't even know what his costume is gonna be this year. Now we just gotta find President Sleepyhead. Well, hello there, boys. Who said that? Ah, uh, a mummy. Hold up. Jill, is that you? In the flesh, or should I say, in the wraps? Uh, no, you probably shouldn't say that. 
That is one hell of a costume. Thank you, Barack. There are lots of talented people who work here at the White House. I really love your Walter White costume, by the way. You, you know Breaking Bad? It's only my favorite show ever. Wow, Dr. Biden, I didn't know you were so cool. We gotta get together one day and talk all things Breaking Bad. Let me stop both of you before you get ahead of yourself. Jill, where is your husband? Well, you know him. He wanders around by himself a lot. I think he said something about trick or treating early. What? We were all supposed to go together, that old bastard. Well, you guys can probably catch him if you all head out soon. As soon as Chester Cheetah gets here, we'll do just that. Oh, and Jill, great job on the Halloween decor. The White House has never looked so spooky before. These skeletons were a nice touch. Um, actually, these were just here when me and Joe moved in, left over from the Trump administration. We just never got around to taking them down. Oh. I'd maybe get someone to check if these are real skeletons or not. Speak of the devil, look who's finally here. Donald, what the fuck are you wearing? My Halloween costume, duh. Donald, that's cultural appropriation. Even the kids I teach at the school know better than that. The last thing I want right now is to be lectured about how I'm offending a different race by a white woman. I don't know, man, this seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, not sure if I even want to go out in public with you dressed like that. Too bad, I'm not taking it off. Breaking news. Huh? Oh shit, look up at the TV guys. A strange van with an ominous message has been spotted on Pennsylvania Avenue this evening. Parents and children are advised to be on the lookout. While this may just be a Halloween prank, it should not be treated as such. Police are warning kids to not accept the offer and to trick or treat in groups this Halloween as crimes across the country are at an all time high. This has been James Taylor of CNN reporting have a safe and fun Halloween. Well, that's creepy as fuck. Don't worry, it's CNN, so it's probably just fake news. Still, it's a good thing we're all together tonight. I'm worried about Joe, though. You know how much of a sweet tooth he has. He'd totally fall for this. Don't worry, we'll find him, Jill. Thank you, Barack. You guys are great friends. As much as I like to pick on Joe, he's one of us. There's nowhere I'd rather be than trick-or-treating with the boys tonight, and that includes him. Wouldn't you rather trick-or-treat with Baron, your own son? I mean, this is his last year before he turns 18 and you're spending it with three grown adults instead. George, I don't like how you're keeping track of when my son turns 18. Ah, uh, shut up, Donald. Just trying to help you be a better parent. Let's just get out and look for Joe. Thanks again, guys. Good luck and have fun tonight when you find him. All right, this house looks totally spooky. Let's stop here. Donald, we're supposed to be looking for Joe. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna trick or treat. Joe's been doing it without us. He's probably got a stockpile of candy already, assuming he didn't get lost. Honestly, he's probably out checking the bushes for Easter eggs or giving people Valentine's Day cards, that demented fuck. Either way, we promised Jill we'd find him. He's our friend, damn it. Yeah, well, I want candy, so I'm stopping here anyways. Wow, it kinda takes the fun out of it when there's nobody at the door to say trick or treat to... Hmm. Take one, please. I mean, nobody's looking. Take the whole bowl, Donald. You deserve it for the sacrifices you've made for this country. No, don't listen to him. Think of all the other kids who'll stop by this house. I mean, Joe is holding us back from having a full night of trick-or-treating. But think about the consequences. Fuck that noise. The only consequences will be you and your friends having more candy to eat. Now, are you gonna stand here or take your candy? You're right. Since when do I care about how other people feel? That's it, I quit. You never listened to me anyways. God, that guy was a total loser. Now we have more Halloween mischief to get up to. What took you so long? And why is your bag so full already? Uh, turns out the person at the door was a big supporter of mine. They saw right through my costume and gave me the whole bowl. A supporter of yours in D.C.? Yeah, right. You stole that, didn't you? Fake news. Either way, you're going to share that candy with the rest of us later. Now, let's find Joe. Oh, no. Guys, over there. It's the creepy van from TV. CNN wasn't lying for once. Should we call the police? George, we're in Washington, D.C., remember? This place doesn't have a problem with pedos. Donald's right, unfortunately. If Joe has been kidnapped, we got to get him out ourselves. So what, we just confront the creep and ask if he's got our friend? Pretty much, and if I have to, I'll show him my mega muscles. Okay, let's do this safely. We don't want things to get out of hand. 
Hey, whoever's driving this van, come out so we can talk to you. Hey, you creep. We said come out right now. That's it. Come closer so we can see you. I bet you have our friend Joe in the back of your freaky ass van. Wait a sec. This guy looks familiar. That hair. What the fuck? Oh, hey, Donald. You like my costume? Joe, is that you? No, I'm Donald Trump. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't understand. Were you kidnapped or not? Kidnapped? What in the blue blazes are you waffling on about, George? Then why are you hanging around the creepy van from the news? What do you mean, creepy? I'm just spreading some Halloween goodness with the neighborhood. Joe, please, for the love of God, tell me you're not driving a van that says free candy around dressed as me. What's the issue? I'm going to kill him. Calm down, Donald. Joe, please tell me you don't have any kids in the back of your van. How am I supposed to calm down? I have enough charges against me as it is. The last thing I need right now is to add more, relating to minors. Of course there's nobody in the van. I haven't gotten a single kid to take a piece of candy. Oh, thank God. So wait, how much candy do you even have back there? Take a look for yourselves. Holy crap, Joe, where did you get all of this? I'm the goddamn president of the United States. I pulled some strings and voila, a van full of candy. This is insane. We won't have to do any more trick or treating for the rest of the night. Man, I'm gonna have to sneak so much of this home. Michelle would never let me eat this much sugary goodness. Well, we can't just give up our night of trick or treating here, guys. Even if we have enough candy, the fun of Halloween is to spend time with friends. And to see little kids in cute costumes. Joe, shut up, man. All right, well, let's hit a few more houses while the night is still young. I knew I shouldn't have eaten so many pieces of <laughs> candy. At least I have you here with me, Jeff Gordon. You are such a good friend. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you are too funny. All right, I better hop in the Discord call before Donald starts bitching. Sup, guys? Hey, Joe, how you feeling? You were looking a bit sick on the way back to the White House. Yeah, I think I went a bit overboard on the candy. Jill is not going to be happy with this. Another cavity is just what I need. I thought your Moses-looking ass had dentures. No, Donald, I don't have dentures. Why are we even on Discord? I'm tired as fuck. It's been a long day. Don't be like that, George. It's Halloween, which means we got to watch a scary movie together. S scary? I don't know if my poor heart can take that, Donald. Joe, you puss. It's a yearly tradition. There's no getting out of it. Besides, the movie I picked out is a certified hood classic. What do you have for us, Barry? An iconic movie by the legendary Sam Raimi, The Evil Dead. That is so goaded, Barack. Bruce Campbell is a fucking legend. Even if he was in the train wreck that is exo-zombies. Oh, man. Can't we watch Scary Godmother or something? I mean, it's scary, but not nearly as violent as Barack's pick. Scary Godmother? Joe, you need to grow a pair. Now everyone join my stream so we can watch it. OK, fine. But I'm going to look away during the scary scenes. What the, who's there? What are you talking about, Joe? I hear freaky voices in my room. Someone help me. Joe, stop messing around. Wait, I hear it too. Wait a sec. Jeff, what are you talking about? Are you responsible for this? You're freaking me and my friends out. <laughs> ah! Joe, what the hell is happening over there? Oh, who's there? I demand you show yourself. Ah! That didn't come from my headset. That was real life. Barack, answer me. Whoever you are, leave me and my friends alone. Ah! Oh, my aching head. What the hell? Where are we? The last thing I remember is us watching The Evil Dead when Joe started freaking out about hearing creepy voices or something. Guys, it was Jeff Gordon. I had him sitting next to me on my desk when he suddenly transformed into some evil, twisted, fucked up version of him. So what you're telling us is that this is all your fault, Joe. I knew that pathetic little gourd was no good. This is no time to be pointing fingers and blaming each other. We need to figure out where we are and fast. Michelle's gonna freak out when she sees I'm missing. Barry's right. Petty squabbling won't get us anywhere. But doesn't this place look a little bit familiar to you guys? 
Wherever we are, it sure does give me the heebie-jeebies. Also, I think I soiled my undergarments. Yeah, we could tell, Joe. Your pants are soaked. You should seriously see a doctor or something. You're always pissing your damn diapers. Leave him alone, Donald. We have bigger things to worry about than Joe's bladder problem. Also, look here, guys. There's four pistols on the ground. We should take them with us, just in case. I have a bad feeling about all of this, but I suppose we should get to exploring. Ah! What in the blue blazes was that? I'm not sure, but it didn't sound friendly. Everyone keep your guards up and watch each other's backs. Let's move! What a scary looking place. Can you hold my hand, Donald? Touch me and you're dead, Joe. Speaking of which, look guys, it's a fucking zombie. What kind of satanic shit is this? It's like we're inside a zombie's map. I'm not sure, George, but it looks like their souls are filling up this chest when we kill them. We should probably look out for other soul boxes. Get a look at this shit shack over here. This is nothing compared to my beautiful Trump Tower. I know I've seen this place before. Anyways, we should probably head inside and see if anyone else is here. Man, you weren't kidding, Donald. This place is a mess. I doubt we'll find anyone else alive here. Guys, quick, come here. Look what I found. Is that the mystery box? We really are in a zombie's map. If that's the case, we should look out for perks and pack a punch too. I still can't believe this is really happening right now. There's a car sitting out here. Wonder if we can drive it out of here. Damn, no keys, just our luck. Die, you flesh-eating scum. You know, this is actually kind of fun. I'm glad you're at least finding some enjoyment in this horrific situation, Donald. Anyways, I just opened another door. Let's see if there's anything useful out here. Oh shit, guys, I found a juggernaut machine. Looks like it needs power, though, so let's keep our eyes peeled. Found another one of those soul boxes, too. Let's fuck up these undead bastards and fill it up. Geez, did it just get really hot all of a sudden, or is it just me? Napalm zombie, stand back, guys. You don't want to be near it when it explodes. Take this, you flaming red bitch. You're fired! Get it, guys? Fired? Don't quit your day job, Carrot Top. Not like you'll have a job after you lose your business license in New York. Anyways, the soul box is filled. Let's look around for more. Found another one up here, guys. Hopefully our efforts will be rewarded once these are all filled. I still can't believe Jeff would do this to us. I showered him with endless love and affection. We were supposed to be best friends for life. Okay, Joe, I see how it is. Just forget about your old pal, Barry. I'm the only reason you got elected after I convinced Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar to drop out and endorse you. You don't understand, Barack. Me and Jeff Gordon were intimate together. All right, Joe, that's enough of your creepy fetishes. Oh, shit, guys, watch out, hellhounds. I'm definitely a cat person after this, but they're no match for the presidential zomboys. Looks like that's all of them for now. Let's go finish filling that chest. Looks like that did it. Hopefully it's the last one. Let's head down into this cave here and see where it takes us. Oh shit, I found the power switch, guys. This should be a big help. Nice job, George. We should all go buy that juggernaut perk. Joe, did I just hear your noob ass call juggernaut? Juggernaut! Damn, Barry, no need to get all explosive on Joe. Even I feel bad for him after that. Did you hear that, guys? Sounds like someone's behind this door. Hello? Anyone there? Groovy! More survivors. I don't know where you guys came from, but I need your help to put an end to the deadite horde. Holy shit, is that Ash Williams? Now I see what's going on here. We're inside the evil dead. Except it's some kind of zombies map. No wonder the place seemed familiar. Seems like you guys know who I am somehow. Just who are you guys? My name is Barack Obama. My friends here are Donald Trump, George W. Bush, and Joe Biden. We're actually U.S. presidents. And here I thought I was the crazy one. Okay, Mr. President, if you four want to get out of this nightmare, I'll need you guys to find a book and dagger out there for me. I told you guys we should have watched Scary Godmother instead. We could be having a fantastic Halloween party with her instead of stuck in this scary place. Stop your bitching, Joe. We all need to be on our A game if we want to get home to our families. We need to find that book and dagger Ash mentioned. I think I might have saw the dagger outside near one of those soul boxes. I found some parts lying around that I think I can turn into a shield. Nice, this should protect our asses. What the hell? 
Guys, I found some kind of portal. Maybe it'll take us home. Here goes nothing. Well, this definitely isn't Mar-a-Lago, just another shithole. There's gotta be something useful around here. Let's look around. Oh shit, guys. Come here, I found the Hell's Retriever. And look over here, isn't this that Punch-a-Pack machine? It's called the Pack-a-Punch Joe. But yeah, this should help us out big time. Let's all upgrade our guns. Hey guys, I think I found that dagger that fella in the basement was talking about. I've never seen a dagger glow red and float by itself, so yeah, I'd say so, Joe. Looks like the zombies' souls are charging the dagger and causing it to move. Let's follow it and see what happens. So far, so good. Hear that, Ash? We've got your dagger down here. Good job, fellas. Just keep killing those deadites and feeding the dagger. All right, it went into the fireplace, so I guess we're done. We should look for that book Ash mentioned. If I had to guess, it'd be the Necronomicon. So everyone look for a big, creepy book bound in flesh. Found it, George. I wonder if it's got any cool mind control spells or some shit inside it that could help me win the next election. Not like your Humpty Dumpty looking ass knows how to read anyways, Donald. Also look guys, the book has created some kind of barrier trapping us in the cabin. Everyone stay close and watch each other's backs. Hopefully we'll get to go home after we give this guy his book. I'm craving some candy corn right now. Candy corn, Joe? Really? That shit is disgusting. I bet you're also one of those cruel fuckers that gives out those nasty, stale-ass popcorn balls on Halloween, too. All right, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, that's enough. Looks like the barriers are gone. Let's take the book down to Ash. Here's your book, Ash. Can we go home now? Groovy, just give me a second to open the door and... Wait a minute, this book is missing some pages. I'm gonna need you guys to look for them. Seems like there's four pages missing in total. Seriously, I thought we were in zombies, not fucking Slenderman the Eight Pages. Probably best if we split up to look for these pages. Let's hurry up before we become zombie lunch. What's this, a tiny red button? Hopefully pressing it doesn't nuke the place like the one I had back in the Oval Office. Oh shit, that must be one of the pages of the Necronomicon. One down, three to go. Another red button. Hopefully pushing these will help us out somehow. Found another one of those pages. Just two more guys. What the hell? I don't remember this room being here before. Looks like some cabin in the woods type shit. Another one of those red buttons too. Hopefully pressing that did something good. Found another one. We're almost out of this nightmare, guys. No fucking way. Is this the golden ray gun? Those buttons must have caused it to appear. I feel like I'm in a damn Jim Buthy video right now. That's all of them, guys. Let's head back to Ash and see if we can finally get the hell out of here. Here's your pages, Jack. Now, can we go home? All right, you primitive screwheads. Listen up. There's one last step needed to repair the Necronomicon. To bind the pages back into the book, you'll need to complete four rituals around the cabin. All you need to do is kill a bunch of deadites and the pages should go back into the book. You guys need some extra firepower. I left my boomstick upstairs. I called dibs. Oh, hell yeah. Hail to the king, baby. You're reminding me of Hail to the King by Avenge Sevenfold. That album was such a letdown. I think I'd honestly rather be trapped here than listen to that. Enough with the idle chit chat, Barry. I think I found the first ritual site. Let's all group up. These zombies are eating lead, like how I'll be eating candy once we're out of here. I think we finished that one, guys. Let's keep going. Found another spot up here. Let's hold our ground till the ritual is complete. Looks like Satan's sending his pets after us again. These weak ass dogs are no match for my boomstick though. This is too easy. Another ritual complete. Let's find the next one. Over here guys, here's the next one. Thank God we aren't stuck in a Treyarch zombies map where we'd have to remember a bunch of overly complicated shit. This is pretty easy all things considered. Still, I just wanna go home and forget about all of this. Joe, knowing your demented ass, you'll probably forget about this by tomorrow. Also, the third ritual is done. Just one more. Found it. This is it, boys. After this, we're home free. They're throwing everything at us. Just keep shooting. Die, you hellspawn. Man, this ray gun is putting in work. We did it, guys. The book is fully repaired. Let's bring it back to Ash ASAP. All right, Ashley, we've got your stupid book finally. Now let us in. Truly amazing. Thanks for all your help, fellas. I'll unlock the door for you guys now, but hurry in before those deadites swarm us. Holy shit, it really is you. 
I'm a big fan, Ash. Uh, listen, if you want an autograph, you'll have to come back when the place isn't crawling with deadites. So, uh, how do we go home? Well, that depends. Where is home for you, geriatrics? More like when. We're from the year 2023, and in our reality, this is all just a movie. Ah, some good old-fashioned temporal displacement, huh? Been there, done that. Thankfully, I have some of this leftover potion from my time in the Middle Ages. It'll let you sleep for a while. I think every drop is a decade, so take three drops and you should end up back in your own time. Oh, wow, that's convenient. Thanks, Ash. <laughs> what the hell was that? Look down there. You thought you could escape me. What the fuck? Is that a talking gourd? You may have held off my demon army, but now you shall face true terror. Jeff Gordon, I can't believe you. You know what? You're not a good friend. What are you talking about, mortal? If you were a great friend like I'd been to you, you wouldn't have scared the daylights out of me and my friends. You only care about yourself. You weren't thankful that I saved you from that pumpkin patch. You transported me and my friends to this creepy ass cabin. You disrespected Donald when you told me his haircut was horrible. You almost got us eaten by zombies and you didn't even seem sorry. Meeting me was the best thing that ever happened to you. I let you live out your zombies mode that you love to play in real life. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. Joseph, I'm sorry. I realize now that- Man, that creepy thing was pissing me off. One less deadite in the world, though. Jeff! He didn't deserve that. Uh, yeah, he definitely did. Thanks again, Ash. Don't mention it, Obama. Now you all better get to catching some Zs. I'm gonna use the Necronomicon to send these demons back to hell. But I'll be quiet about it so you all can get your beauty sleep, especially the orange one. Hey, fuck you. Just hand over the damn potion so I can never see you again. Here you go. And remember, when you're back in your time, shop smart. Shop as smart Yeah, we don't have those where we're from. Nice meeting you, though. All right, here we go, guys. Remember, three drops apiece. Good morning, everybody. Man, that was the best sleep I've ever got. Whoa, nice beard, Joe. Guess that's what happens when you don't shave for a few decades. Damn, Barry, your facial hair game is weak. Oh, uh, we have bigger problems than that. Look around us. What the fuck? This is not the year 2023. The White House, it's in ruins. That Ash guy did say each drop of the potion was a decade, right? Oh, shit. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure in Army of Darkness, each drop is a century, not a decade. No, that can't be. We slept too long. Oh God, our family's civilization as we know it, it's all gone. 